Hello everyone, it's Felix. In this video tutorial I want to show you how to operate the autopilot on 2154. Autopilot on 2154 is called ABCU. It is used not only for automatic flight, but also for manual flight. 2154 is uh, very unstable in the air, so autopilot will help a lot to handle it. ABCU requires some systems to work properly. Hydraulic system, hydraulic units, artificial horizons, and the compass system. To turn on the autopilot, turn on this switcher on the overhead panel. We see the yoke's images on the autopilot mode indicators. It means that the autopilot is in uh, manual mode. Also, you can see the ABCU radio lamp. It indicates that the uh, ABCU is uh, operational and uh, may be engaged. Autopilot has two separate channels, roll and pitch. Only enabled channels can be turned to automatic mode. Also, we can disable any channel independently. To enable the automatic mode, press the blue stop button. To turn back manual mode, we can use a few methods. Use force on the flight yokes to disconnect one or both channels. Turn off one or both channels by their respective switches. or use special button on your joystick, prescribed in the technical manual. To make the autopilot less sensitive in turbulence, use this switcher. But be aware that this will make autopilot less precise. Let's take a look at the different modes of the ABCU. Some of them may be enabled even in the manual mode. In this case, ABCU will only show you commands on the main artificial horizon. All enabled modes are indicated on the ABCU buttons and the lamps on the front panel. Let's look at the roll modes. Direct roll input. In this mode you can command any roll using this knob. You can enable this mode by simply rotate this knob in any other modes or press the reset button. Also remember that when you set up roll to zero, autopilot will remember the current course and will hold it after some time. Course Select Mode. This mode allows to enter course directly from left and the right HSI using this yellow crown scale. To select left or right HSI, use this select. NVU mode. To enable this mode, you need NVU working. If prepare navigation switcher is on, then ABC will follow the course line programmed in NVU. If this switcher is off, ABC will lever the aircraft and uh, fly straight.
it gives us the ability to program the NVU during the flight. Also in this mode you can connect the KLN using this source selector, NVU GPS. Now Autopilot will follow the road programmed in KLN. VOR Navigation Modes In this mode Autopilot makes course comparison between selected course on HSI and the VOR radial deviation from course MP system. War 1 takes information from the left course MP. War 2 from the right. Enter frequency in the course MP system. Enter the radial here. Set up course on the left or right HSI. You can select which one to use here. Remember that uh, this mode will not work when prepare landing switcher is on. Approach mode can be enabled only when prepare landing switcher is on and we are receiving signals from ILS beacon. When you enable this mode, autopilot will automatically turn towards the course selected on desired HSI with an angle of 30 degrees towards it. When we reach the course, Autopilot will lock and uh, follow the ILS course signals. Press the APP button only when you are ready to make the base turn. When you reach the glide slope and you have flaps extended uh, down to 36 degrees, Autopilot will automatically enable the glide slope mode. Now let's see the pitch modes. First one is a direct pitch input. Use this wheel to set up the pitch. You can always enable this mode by turning the wheel. V mode is for stabilizing the airspeed. Autopilot will remember airspeed at the time when you press the button and will hold it using pitch. Terrain ahead. 
Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. M mode is similar to V but for Mach number. H mode is for holding the altitude. Again, autopilot will remember the altitude at the moment when you press the button. To change speed or altitude, use speech wheel to enter the direct mode and then press the button again when you reach a new speed or altitude. Fly slope mode can be enabled only when prepare landing switcher is on and we are already use approach mode in a roll channel. This mode can be enabled automatically. When approach mode is enabled, flaps extended to 36 degrees and more and we are passing the glide slope. Autopilot on 2154 can also stabilize airspeed using auto throttle system. This system uses information from the airspeed indicators. You can select which one to use by this selector. Turn on prepare switcher. Right now the system will sync the airspeed with the current. When you press the stop button, auto throttle will hold the synchronized current speed. You can change the speed using this handle. To disable the auto throttle, you can press the stop button again or move throttle manually. These three buttons are used to disconnect any throttle from the system, so you can move them manually. And the last feature of the 2154 autopilot is the go around mode. You can enable it when autopilot is in approach mode. To engage go around, you can move throttles all the way up to take off power. You can also use this button on the yokes if you are using auto throttle. You can set up this button on your joystick. All information is in the technical manual.